And then there's Chunky. He's dead. Anyways, greetings from Phantom's Gate. Dark Prince plays here, coming at you with kind of a call, or not really a call, but more so a return to a certain country. Although this isn't that game, it's a tropical freeze to a country. So, yeah, here we are, back at Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. It's been... there's a fly. And also, you might notice I'm a bit louder, that's just because, I don't know, I felt like my old videos were a bit too quiet. But yeah, and for those of you who think you're seeing things wrong, yes, I have played this game before. I played it, I guess, almost two years ago? Not really. Like, almost. Okay, yeah, I would say almost two years ago. Yeah, I played this, like, back in September of... Wait, not even September, like... Oh, yeah. No, I played this, like, back in September of 2021. And, yeah, I 100%ed the entire game. Not really 200%ed, just 100% of the game. And I did say that eventually I wanted to return to this game, but in a different way. So, yeah, here's our previous file from back when I first Let's Played the game. And now we're going to start a new save file. Now, I would say, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, make sure before watching this one, so you're caught with everything up to this point. However, you kind of don't really need to see the previous game, or the previous uh, file, really. Um, but for those of you who have seen the original LP, we are going to be covering a lot of familiar ground here, so... Yeah, but, however, I probably will end up going through this a lot faster. So, last time we were here, we did the original mode. But this time, I'm going to be showing off Funky Mode. Choose Funky Kong for some extra help on your adventure. Play as DK or Funky Kong. This mode lets you last, or lets you choose last, for, the mode you choose last for the entire game. So, I did normal mode, now we're going to go in Funky Mode. I'm going to go with my default controls. And of course, I'm going with your boy Funky for the whole thing. Radical, you're playing as Funky Kong. Funky has five hearts and doesn't take damage when you land on most spikes. After a first jump, you can jump again in midair. You can slow your fall by holding the jump button. You can also roll and corkscrew as much as you want and breathe underwater too. <laughs> Look at him in the back. Such a chad. So yeah, a lot of the game is basically the same. Anything I explain is just going to also be the same. But yeah, I'm... I'm still going to go through this 100% like I did last time, getting all the Kong letters, all the puzzle pieces everywhere. Which is why I said we're, we are going to be covering a lot of familiar ground, if uh, you do recall the original LP. I figured uh, coming back to Tropical Freeze would be nice, just because we just had a long RPG game from Pokemon. Kind of, we're kind of alternating, like one, RP, one long RPG, and then a platformer I really enjoy. And then another long RPG, and now another platformer I really enjoy. Don't worry, this pattern will break by the next game, I promise. Because LP16 is going to be after this. I just felt like we could, you know, kind of re I return to the, his country. Even though, again, this is not Returns. And speaking of Returns, you got the UK Islands design from in that game. How many times will I say return in this episode? Comment down below and you might win nothing. Still no lips. I know I stole that joke originally, but come on, I don't have lips. Also, it's funny because I went to SeaWorld yesterday, so... I didn't really think about that until I saw all the walruses. We got macho walrus over here. Lord Frederick and his giant ice dragon. You know how Vikings kind of had their funerals where they burn a body and just send it out to sea? Would these guys just freeze the body and send them out to sea? Probably not, but it's, it's just something I thought of. Once these guys are like all about ice and whatever. Ice. But yeah, even though we're in funky mode, this opening cutscene does not turn whatsoever. But I mean, it looks nice, come on. Also, I don't know if the game is too loud or not. I feel like you should still be able to hear me. And if not, then that is really going to suck. Because, yeah. I'll figure it out after the first episode. It's usually the first episode where I'm just testing the water to see where the audio lies. And, yeah. Hopefully it's not too bad. 
But knowing my luck, it definitely is. And you might not even be able to hear me right now. So, that's cool. Also, fun fact, now that I have, um... Actually? Wait. No, because I haven't been to Odyssey since, like... Oh yeah, you can hear my rumbles, huh? Cool. I think you can turn that off, but... I'll probably forget anyways. Might want to do that now, because that's just going to be coming back like, throughout the whole game. And here he is! New funky mode, the meme, uh, options. Um, 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 uh, I want default. Oh well. Okay, anyways, uh, in trip, typical Donkey Kong Country fashion, always go to the right on the first level. Show this off before, and I'll show it again. Okay. What was I saying? Uh, kind of thing. Oh yeah. So, fun fact, I believe now the most recent help, like now that I'm back in Tropical Freeze, the most recent LP I've done without like in more in, like enhanced audio and what I mean by that, like what me not using the TV speaker to as the game audio, I think now the most recent LP. Ooh. Actually, well, no, I think Mario Odyssey is, like, the only game I haven't, like, done this with. Huh. Because I've done it with Splatoon with the Octo expansion. I did with Cuphead in the Delicious Last Course, and now I'm doing this with Funky Mode, so... Hmm. Although I have, um, kind of returned to Odyssey and make some of my announcement videos. Anyways, I'm going really fast, so I'm going to go ahead and rapid-fire a bunch of information. Bananas work in Mario rules. Collect a hundred of them to get yourself an extra life. Although, you probably wouldn't need them in this mode because this is hardcore easy mode. So, actually, before we go any further, let me just explain uh, the differences between normal mode and funky mode. So, you got your normal uh, pound attack, he's got his jump. Although, Funky Kong, as you've seen, has a double jump and also a hover. So, yeah, it's, it doesn't go like as fast as something like Diddy or Dixie's. But, I mean, it will help you in a lot of types of bots, so... And also, Funky Kong has infinite underwater air, meaning that a lot of the Seas Sea Breeze Cove levels we'll be coming across later on will be especially easy. And, of course, he has just five hearts, so there's that too. Essentially, Funky Mode is just easy mode for the game. For, like, people who aren't as experienced at the game. Uh, but the one thing, though, the... Um, like the one main trade-off between uh, normal mode and funky mode is that in the funky mode you don't get the uh, partner Kongs, Diddy, Dixie, or Frankie, so you kind of miss out on them if you decide to go with this mode, but funky kind of does what they do all in one package, so unless you just like the characters, you're not missing out on much. I personally do like the characters though, so that's a bit of a bummer, but I mean, it's funky Kong, come on. Also, you see, you might have seen me. Be cool, but you might have seen me picking up collectibles at this point, or up to this point. So the two main collectibles in this game, there are calling letters in each level. Typically, or no, not even typically. There's always four of them. K, O, and G. Uh, you need to collect all of them in each level to unlock every level in the game. And the puzzle pieces, they just unlock uh, concept art and like, other art. Just art, basically, but the 100% is required to get all of them. Over here's a funky barrel. All it really does is like give you an attack and also a full cool So I will be collecting all the uh, Kong letters and puzzle pieces. And oh yeah, now I can show this off. So since Funky has a surfboard, landing on spikes does not hurt him. You can just stand on them as long as you want. Yeah, like, mega easy mode. Did I miss something? I hope not. Oh, feeling I did. Don't need that turtle anymore, because we just have a double jump. Also, puzzle pieces in each level range from 5 to 9, actually, I believe. 
I don't think it ever goes lower than five, and then I've never seen it go higher than five. Uh, balloons give you extra life, or an extra, an extra life. Uh, bananas are basically the coins of this game. Like I said before, collect 100 and you get an extra life. And banana coins are these are this game's currency. You can use them to buy items and stuff, but I probably will not be buying any because you kind of really don't need them when you have Funky on your side. You have Mr. Mario Kart himself. I'm gonna be stunned if he doesn't get into the booster course pack. It's like it's Funky Kong. I'm sure Nintendo knows how much people love Funky Kong in Mario Kart. There's no way they're not gonna bring him back. If they don't, that's just dumb. Two tries here. Also, you can only have up to 999 banana coins. And you can only have up to 99 lives, so there's that too. Oh, also another thing is that the Kong letters appear in order, so you'll know if you're missing one, or two, or three, or all of them. Well, I mean, if you missed all of them, you already have the end of the level, so there's that. Oh yeah, also Funky's roll is infinite, same with his underwater spin move, whereas if you were just with Donkey Kong, you would only have each of those for a limited time, unless you had a partner Kong. Funky's an independent woman who don't need no man. He does, however, need to grab things to throw things at other things. So that was actually a loss on my part. We don't need him right now. We could also be going over these enemies too. I'll kind of go over them once I run into them again. I guess I could go over him. That's a fluff. They're just known for hopping around back and forth. Not a lot to them, just jump them. A lot of these enemies can just be killed by jumping on them. Uh, just gotta... Also kind of stressed because I've failed this before. Okay. Gotta get all the bananas to get a puzzle piece. And these penguins are just called tucks. They're just the Goombas of this game. You jump on them and they die. And over here we got Waldo. Oh yeah, you can also roll into enemies too, so something more than what Mario can do. And you just jump on them or roll into them three times and they die. Uh you oops. Oh well. I forget. I no, those aren't pointy tucks. Those are um. I don't remember. I keep forgetting the names of those guys. Yeah, tough tucks, you can hit that, like jump on their helmets and then pick them up and throw them. And you kind of need them in some areas to get like platforms and puzzle pieces. Anyways, here we got a bonus room. You have 30 seconds to collect all the bananas in here. If you run into time or fall down through the bottomless pits, like I almost did, like a bumbling buffoon. Uh, then you kind of have to come back, like start the level over and come back. Or die and then just come back after you respawn. Yeah. The only thing you could... Okay, besides bananas, coins, and lives. The only thing, or the main thing you get from bonus rooms are... Ban <laughs> banana coins. Are puzzle pieces, so... Some of them are really well hidden. Most of the time they're just in cannons that are hidden. It's kind of what it always... No, because there are some times where it's just like you go in a little room and it's a bonus room. It's not always cannons. Speaking of cannons, I guess I'll kind of go over them later. There's kind of four different kinds. I'm kind of spewing a lot of information right now all at once just because it's kind of a lot to go over for newcomers. Oh, I kind of forgot about the barrel roulette, even though I saw it. So the barrel roulette is the goal, like the end goal of each level. So it kind of spins around. You can time it easily. I was just being dumb. Although in some levels it's harder to time. So you got that too. And on the barrel roulette, you can either get a bunch of bananas, which is worth five bananas, a one-up, a one-up balloon, or banana coin. One banana coin. Or you could hit the DK on it and get 15 of any of those items. You get 15 bunches of bananas, 15 lives, or 15 banana coins. It can be very good to get, especially if you're running out of lives or running out of funds. The banana bunch is probably the most underwhelming. 1-2, shipwreck sure, so... 
Also, I won't be going for the time attacks. I didn't do that before, and I'm not going to do it here. Even though it is theoretically easier with Funky Kong. Okay. Yeah, you, you kind of want to get into a habit of going left in Donkey Kong Country, because a lot of the times they do hide like secrets and treasures to the left. Even if there's nothing, it's still worth checking out. I don't know why or how I let go. I'll probably be going through a lot of these levels a lot faster. Uh, just because A, I've done this all before on this channel, and B, Funky Kong is a lot easier to like get around levels. Okay, he's a lot easier to use when getting around the levels. Oh, also, you can, something else you can do is if you don't land on, like, me, uh, you can actually chain uh, hops. So after three consecu consecutive hops, you get a banana coin for each hop after, and then I think starting at seven or eight, you start getting extra lives. And there's a level later on that we'll get to with, uh, where essentially the whole level is just hopping on enemies. Oh god, I forgot I like to roll when doing this. Or when doing this one. Uh, yeah, there's a level later that is great for farming lines because the whole level is just jumping on enemies. I'm kind of playing a bit differently than I normally would just because I have Funky Kong and I know I can just abuse his double jump. But it's also kind of scaring me because it doesn't come out when I want it to. Also, a lot of the bonus levels... Okay, there's only so many and um, they do get reused after a while, so that's why I said this one. Because we will definitely be seeing a lot of the bonus room uh, formats later on. Or layout. Maybe. Didn't really go over this, but yeah, get all the banana chain, or the bananas that are connected to that flying banana, and you get a little Could be a puzzle piece, could be something as small as like five bananas, but yeah. Also, these sharks, uh, they will come after you if you get in the water. The only way you can kill them is with a barrel or a bomb, so don't try fighting them if you don't have any of those things. I kind of want to show off the chain, even though it is easy to uh, jump on them. Oh god, the mosquito, I hate those. I hate mosquitoes in real life, and I hate these things too. Really annoying in my opinion. Just flying nerd emojis. Ooh, okay. So this is kind of another example of why you need tough tucks in some areas. You have to throw them a thing. Also, check the water when you can, because there could also be stuff hiding in under the depths of the ocean. I, I kind of saw this earlier, but whenever, whenever a uh, thing like that spawns a bunch of bananas, you typically want to uh, get all of them too. They could either give you a heart, a bunch of bananas, banana coin, or sometimes even a puzzle piece. segment. And really we could just take our time because again Funky has infinite uh, underwater breath. Uh, there's really no stress to get out of the water unless there's something chasing us. This is just banana coins. You can tell I love this game so I know quite a lot about like Especially the stuff in the earlier levels, because those are the easiest to replay, and 
Yeah, I just kind of go to like these earlier levels to like practice techniques and stuff for later levels. Nothing too big, but it's just something. You don't have to break all these, but you can. I, I know I like to. Circular ones, you just float in the middle as funky and it's really easy. Uh, this. So in normal mode, you would need a certain partner Kong to get down here, but with funky, you can just spam his underwater attack. Over. I'm gonna come back to that. before I even hit the barrel, that's just because I'm like, assuming I'm going to get the DK, because when you do that, you have to just mash to like, get the maximum fun. Okay. Lost mangroves. Uh, real quick before I go back into the level. So, yeah, Funky's flying by. The main store of the game, or the only story of the game, but now that we're playing as Funky, who's selling us things? Hi, hi, dude. While you're out saving saving the island, you can trust old Tox to hold down the fort here. I'll even hook you up with a sweet employee discount. Yeah, he gives you a discount on stuff. Uh, don't know why you need Funky and Dixie barrels when you have Funky, but hey. He says, he says, like, essentially the exact same thing Funky would. Um, uh, I don't know if I'll be going for the capsules again, though. Because I've kind of showed them all off. I don't think they're required for 100%. If they are, I probably will buy them all again. I did show off all the capsule toys, though. Before. Also, a bird selling another bird? That seems wrong on quite a few levels. How's my funky impression? Honestly, I think it's pretty swell. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna go back into Shipwreck Shore and I will see you guys back at that mysterious area that I kind of foreshadowed. All right, I made it back. I'm gonna try to get myself the main coin just because I can. Okay, so yeah, since since Funky has an infinite underwater attack, you can kind of just mash your attack button and go down as far as you want. Although, probably won't want to go too far. What's this? Whenever you see one of those portals, secret exit. No! Oh, damn it. Okay. Fumbled at the beginning. It caps out at 15, but if you fumble, you're probably going to get 14 at best. Okay. And that gives us the secret level. And, yeah, also, you do have to get all the secret exits to also get all the levels in. You kind of have to have all the levels in order to get 100%, so there's that too. I think that's it. That's good for a first episode of our return to Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. 
Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze Returns. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Alright, yeah. so with that we've unlocked two more levels here at World 1 Lost Mangroves, so yeah. next time I'll be taking on level 1A Zipline Shrine, as well as 1-3 yeah. Canopy Chaos. Maybe even the uh, maybe even level 1-B, because this one also has a secret exit. I guess we'll find out next time. Depends really on how fast I yeah. actually able yeah. to go as funky compared yeah. to DK. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye!